Hello everyone, so now we'll go through assignment three of your third package, which is how the fur trade changed traditional way of life. So in this assignment, we go through who Henry Kelsey was, who Pierre Gaultier de la Verandre, I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's what you're getting from me today, so sorry. And then we also talk about how the fur trade changed our traditional way of life in our area. So who is this Henry Kelsey? Henry Kelsey is most known for being the first European to go into the deep prairies of Canada. He was a fur trader with the Hudson's Bay Company and he was sent to make connections with the First Nations communities to ask them to trade furs with them and go to York, and go to York Factory and ask them to trade furs with them. So that was in 1690 and he traveled for two years into the plains and he made it all the way to like Saskatoon area and Saskatchewan. So he's known as the first explorer of the plains. And we actually have a monument here and let's go on a tour right now. And here we are at Devon's Park in the Paul. Once you drive down and turn right and walk up the bike trail, you'll head here. Directly across the river is Ocean. Right there you can see the Bignell Bridge. And here's the monument. It's big and it's pretty. There's a plaque on there dedicated to Henry Kelsey and it reads, Apprentice to the Hudson's Bay Company in 1684, Kelsey developed a rapport with the Indians which led to his being sent from York in 1690 to draw the natives of the plains down to the bay to trade. This was the first of the company's inland expeditions and the only one for half a century. Although his exact route is unclear, he apparently reached the plains of Saskatchewan, the first white man known to have done so. He subsequently served the company as trader, explorer, mariner, and finally a governor of all the posts of Hudson's Bay. In 1722, he retired to London, where he died. Okay, we're back. So now the reading goes on to talk about La Verandre. So Henry Kelsey was a worker with the Hudson's Bay Company, the British company. La Verandre worked with a fur trade company out of Montreal, and they were French. So he traveled over here, and it was his son, actually, Louis Joseph, that established the first fur trading post here and they beat the British in establishing a fur trading post in our area by 30 years. So that's why he's important. The rest of the reading goes on to talk about how our life changed. Read that, it talks about how we traded different, uh, different goods that changed our lives a bit. So read through that, answer the questions. So don't forget to reach out if you need any help or clarification and then you're done assignment three. We'll see you in the next video for assignment four. Bye.